Switching to solar energy is one step Vermonters can take toward a cleaner, greener state. Local 22's Courtney Kramer has more in this week's two degree difference. Despite Vermont being a northeastern state with a colder climate and shorter days in the winter, the solar industry in the Green Mountain State is flourishing. People are kind of baffled when I talk to people in other states like, oh, we have a booming solar industry up here. It's like, what? It's like, how? You're not Florida. But we have something called net metering and we have battery backup. And those are two things that are really kind of powerful, awesome things when you don't have a lot of sun during certain parts of the year or certain times of the day. Jane Stromberg from Green Mountain Solar explains that Vermonters can still power their homes more efficiently no matter the season. In addition to getting direct energy from solar panels, she says going solar also allows you to store extra energy on a battery for a later day. For whatever reason during a power outage, you can tap into that energy and be able to run your essentials like, you know, phone chargers, your refrigerator, things like that, that um, you really need during those moments. Stromberg adds that while this benefits the environment, it can also significantly reduce, if not offset, people's energy bill costs. And Vermonters import 100% of the oil and gas they consume, so experts say the switch also provides economic value. There's a tremendous economic opportunity in reducing our reliance on those imparted fuels keeping more of our dollars in Vermont's economy, in Vermonters' pockets. Joanna Miller is the director of the Vermont Natural Resources Council and also leads the Energy and Climate Network. Governor Scott's 2022 budget, which passed last week, includes $250 million over the next three years to help Vermonters do their part on climate. Miller sees this as a good starting place, but says there must be equity in clean energy, too. What's really critical is to help people who earn lower incomes um, or who bear a higher energy burden than um, higher income Vermonters to really focus on serving Vermonters who can't afford necessarily on their own to make those investments. With this week's two degree difference, I'm Courtney Kramer. Okay.